Well, hello friends, and welcome to the vlog. I literally can't believe I'm saying that right now, because this has been a very long time coming. <laughs> and something I have been wanting to do for quite some time. I'm currently sitting in my office, and I moved into this spare bedroom of our house in 2015 when I was pregnant with my son, and I turned this into my photography studio, which I've been using to house all my gear, my desktop computer, which I've used for blogging, editing, calling, archiving images, and all of the things that photography businesses require of you. So if I have taken your picture in the last decade, <laughs> it's likely they were all processed or delivered to you from this exact room, which is really crazy to think about because I have probably processed tens of thousands of images through here. But I've also used this room to store all of my gear. I've got my gear closet, and then I also have all of my hard drives as well. I have hard drives literally going back all the way to 2004 when I first started taking pictures and was kind of playing around with things. And I have all of them in boxes, all organized by year, archived in my closet. I also have the last like five years or so for my portfolio sitting on a cubby and they're all hooked up to a USB um, so I can easily plug in and access pretty much anything from the last five to six years. Like all touch and go, which is awesome. This office also has my desktop computer set up, which I am hardcore old school. I love my desktop computer. I upgraded it a couple years ago and got the dual monitors so I can have all of the multitasking needs that I require. It allows me to do lots of stuff for my business, but also it's a really good gaming PC. So I get to play games every once in a while and it's usually where I disappear to in the winter time. Like this past winter, I spent the entire winter basically playing Sea of Thieves and Baldur's Gate 3. No shame. But when I redid this office two years ago and I upgraded that desktop PC, I also expanded my desk space and asked my husband to help me build a desktop that allowed it to expand all the way across the, the whole wall of the room. So on one side of my desk, I have my desktop and kind of like photography side. And then the other side, I was able to create a little corner for painting, and that has been my little painting studio corner for the last two years, which has been amazing. And that's where I've been dabbling with oils and pastels and acrylics, gouache, inking, you name it, and I've probably been playing with it at least one point or another the last few years. I, the last couple years, have been really wanting to deep dive back into the connection of my art and paint more regularly, and that kind of brings me to the topic of why I wanted to start this YouTube channel. My goals are honestly to really show behind the scenes stuff for both photography and my art, hopefully paint along with me, day in the life, and kind of like show not just one aspect of my photography business or my art or whatever else, but also to focus on how to live a creative life and how I've been doing that for the last, you know, decade essentially, and hopefully inspire other people to do the same and find other like-minded people out there doing this, that same stuff. And honestly, doing YouTube has been something I've been wanting to do for so long, but I couldn't ever get the time or life to line up to allow me to do it. And video editing, ironically, even though I'm a photographer and I can film video with my camera and do all of the things, it's such a different world <laughs> than photography and photography has been a comfort zone for so long. So doing video is requiring me to learn so many things and honestly, even just to get to the place of getting this one video <laughs> filmed, edited, ready and uploaded to YouTube and get my YouTube all sorted and get color grading and lenses and film uh, frame rates and like all of the stuff kind of like lined up. My brain's had to be doing some digging, so it's been a lot of new things to learn and I have more time to do that these days because my life has slowed down a lot and my photography has slowed down a little bit in the sense I'm not shooting weddings anymore and that can be its whole own video and stuff some other day. 
Video editing and filmmaking in general is something I've always been really drawn to and wanting to learn more about. So while I'm also navigating the creative space of painting and growing my art and getting better with my skills and all of that, why not just kind of do both together and take people along for the ride? But also, I'm insanely passionate about living life to the fullest and never believing that you're too old to start something or that you can't do something because X, Y, and Z and you know, whatever else. I've learned being in the photography world for so long that even if what you want to do isn't aligning with where you're at right now, doesn't mean it can't in the future and we should never keep all of our dreams on the back burner. So hopefully whatever content I get to making, I can help inspire other people to get out there, chase your dreams, even if that only means 10 minutes a day and you never make money from it because you don't need to make money from anything to enjoy it and for it to be a hobby. And I feel like in today's society, we're all made to feel like it has to make money or it's not worth anything and that's probably one of the biggest lies that is floating around currently. Do I plan to make money with this? Probably not, but I want to do YouTube just so I can learn the new skills and push myself to learn filmmaking and to see things from a new perspective. And I think inevitably that makes me a better photographer and a better artist. So I plan to make day in the life content stuff, travel vlogs when we go traveling, art stuff, lessons I'm learning along the way, lessons I've already learned, photography behind the scenes, and kind of like use this YouTube channel as the umbrella for all of the different things that my life kind of carries me through and use this as the place to kind of unify all those things together that make up me and my crazy, crazy life. If you are new around here or if you are watching this, leave a comment below because I would really like to find new people to watch and share and follow and connect and hopefully build a new little small community of people um, that are all like-minded in the pursuit of just chasing their dreams and doing things for the fun of it. And I will see you in the next video. Is this, is this on? Yeah, see, I don't have a camera. I have the 5D Mark IV, so I don't have a camera with a screen that pops out, so I can't see. So hopefully I'm in focus. <laughs> this is, this is a lot harder than taking pictures. Hopefully my glasses aren't a problem. I think that's gonna be too long. I don't know, this is so different than photography. Okay.